What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fishnables YouTube channel. Today is Rogue Tuesday, and uh, over the weekend I was talking to Thiago, and Thiago had this really interesting idea of playing Rotom with Electro Power and Choice Ban. And with this combination, you're allowed to do up to 180 damage with the Rotom. The only uh, thing is, you have to put nine tool cards in your discard pile. So today's deck. We are going to try to put nine tool cards in our discard pile and try to do 180 damage. Now, hopefully, this can combat all the stall decks that we saw this past weekend at Roanoke. Uh, something like this would be very interesting to play against because these decks don't use energies and they can easily just knock out those uh, those I guess control energy disruption decks, and you eventually just win because you're just doing so much damage. And uh, I think that's probably one of the coolest ways to do it because you're not your deck's not really like reliant on you of a uh, of, of energy, so they can't really knock your energies out. They can try to Guzma or Countercatcher, but if you don't bench too many Rotoms, you can just a skateboard retreat. Or if you have double Rotoms, maybe you start like like both Lightning Rotoms, and they can't really take a knockout. And you should be able to beat them. So this could counter those um, those pesky mill decks. Now I'm not saying it's foolproof. This is very. Uh, early list for these decks but i think rotom might be the coolest ways to get at it if you can notice there's no or and guru in this deck there's no tapu lele we are taking abuse of the sophocles the sites here in lily engine instead i'm not sure if this is the best way to do it but we're going to go over the deck see what it's about now if you don't know our main rotom guy is going to be the one that does plasma slice now there is a, a psychic one uh we could cut three and play one uh, maybe that's not a bad idea if you expect a lot of buzz wool, but you still can one shot a buzz wool with the with the plasma slice. You could do plasma slice 120 plus a choice band, right? So you do 120 plus the choice bands, 150 plus electro power, you do 30 more damage, 180 plus your shrine of punishment. You can do 190 damage, which could one shot a buzz wall. So I think that's probably the better way of doing it. Um, with the psychic one, you can just hit for weakness and stuff like that. But with the psychic, the lightning one, you're hitting more weaknesses. Uh, we are playing a frost rotom for the frost crush. It does 10, and this attack does 20 more damage times more energy attached to all of your opponent's Pokemon uh, against Blasophilion. That will definitely help you out. Uh, you have the gr the Mo Rotom with Special Mo. Uh, it's going to discard Special Energy from your opponent's active Pokemon, which is really nice. But it's going to do 60 with a Choice Span. You're doing 180, and then well, I guess it's really not taking a knockout. 180, yeah, 180, and then you got like trying to punish at 190. So they will have to Ace Rolla that Lycan Rock. Maybe we we'll cut down to one Mo Rotom instead. Uh, we play the two uh, Heat Rotom Heat Blast. It's just a good attack in general, but it will help you out against. Uh, well, the Sigui doesn't give you the knockouts either. It's barely missing it. Uh, you're doing 110, um, which is 220, 230. But come back into your turn, they will get knocked out. And then you could soft them up with a Fan Rotom. Fan Rotom is probably the best thing to put in the deck. Uh, there's three of them, and it has free retreat. Uh, you get spinning fan just starting to 20 to everybody and then you can soft it up and start taking knockouts with your rotoms so that's probably the best strategy to go against those decks you don't hit immediate knockouts uh but everything else you're pretty much you're going to do one shot which is really really nice um so yeah let's that's all of mo the rotoms and they're also just one prize attackers which is really cool so for acrobite with the top two cards of your deck put one in your hand discard the other card this is going to help us put two cards in the discard pile hypothetically two adventure bag a card we haven't seen yet but Search deck for two Pokemon tool cards, reveal them and put into your hand, shuffle your deck. Uh, four Electro Power, so your Lightning Pokemons do 30 more damage. Two Mysterious Treasure, now this is just to help you discard more tool cards. We don't play any Psychic uh, Pokemon in our deck. We could cut those down instead and play maybe more cards. Uh, but right now we're going to test them out just to see what happens. Uh, it's going to be good with those Lilies turn one. And you can also just Sightseer them away and stuff like that. But for Ultra Ball, of course, find your Rotoms and discard tool cards. Three Shrine of Punishment, going to help you against those GX, EX decks, hit some crucial numbers. Three Guzma, three Lily. I uh, play two Sightseer. I only play in two because you won't play too many of these. But you may discard any number of cards from your hand. Then draw, you have five cards in your hand. It doesn't say you have to have a less than five. So you have like 12 cards in your hand. You can do Sightseer and just, or Sightseer, I guess is not Sightseer. It's Sightseer, uh, but you can discard a bunch of tool cards that way. 
Uh, Force of Akalis, which is going to be our main way to discard toll cards, discard two cards from your hand if you do draw four cards, and then combine those Ultra Ball and Mysterious Treasure, you're good to go. And we're going to play four Choice Band, four Choice Hammond, uh, four Skateboard, and four Hustle Belt. The Choice Band going to do an additional 30 damage to GX and EX. Uh, Choice Helmets, you take 30 less damage from GX and EX. Uh, the retreat cost of your Pokemon are one less, and you do 60 more damage if this Pokemon has 30 HP or less, which could maybe happen uh maybe like buzzle punches in the face for 60 it doesn't take a knockout then you hustle belt and like do a, a significant amount of damage uh so they kind of watch over those hustle belts the most part what we're going to be doing is discarding the choice helmet and the hustle belt and then an escape board and that's gonna be your nine tool cards hypothetically right but we know those things always don't work out but let's save this rotom deck i'm interested to see will this work or not um yeah, I, and I think this is very roguish. Like, we see this more in Expanded, right? You've got, like, Battle Crestor and stuff like that. If you watch my videos, we definitely play against this deck a lot in Expanded. But in Standard, we really haven't seen this deck anymore. So I'm interested to see, can this Rotom deck work and take down these pesky uh, mill decks? Because uh, we, we don't play any energy, so we don't care if they play Crush Tamers and Hands Tamers and Fabas and stuff like that. We're like, we don't care. We're just... Yeah, yeah, cool, that's great. Uh, the only card you have to really worry about is Drafferig. Uh, Drafferig could ruin you, most likely, right? Uh, Spinning against Il Lucas uh, playing a fighter fighting deck. Uh, I'm not sure. I never know. I never know anymore, like, with these decks. Like, literally, standard is wide open. So let's call heads. We won the coin flip. Great. Uh, hopefully, like, the goal is to start taking attacking by turn two, right? Alright, so our hand is pr really pretty. Um, that's pretty much it right there. Uh, like, Acrobotics, eh, I guess it depends who we started with, too. It's a weird situation. Electro Power. Uh, the good thing is, like, we really don't have to discard the Electro Power. Like, we don't play any Juniper or Sycamore in this deck, obviously, because those are an expanded. So you can pretty much manipulate the Electro Power in your hand. So our opponent's going to see my hand and not know what's going on. They're like, alright, I see, like, a Choice Helmet, Electro Power, Adventure Bag. The, the hand is really shiny, though. That is for sure. All right, so we'll press. Um, we'll press done. Okay. Let's try again. Let's take two. Let's see what we got here. All righty. So we start with um, a pretty decent hand. So we'll start with this. Um, we'll press done. We're not going to put down the mode rhythm just yet. We'll see what our opponent is playing. It was some kind of fighting deck. I hope I don't make a misplay and like, start rhythm and then he just like, buzzle and just like... Punches us in the face. Uh, he will need a Deontay, though. Alright, Rock Ruff and Slugma. So this is Zork, most likely. Um, okay, so let's Adventure Bag. Right, we're going to have two cards we don't want. Like, we definitely don't care about the Choice Helmets, okay? So we do that. We'll put down the Shrine. Uh, do we care about the Shrine Sticks? I don't think so already. I think we sights here away one, two, three, four. Uh in the mysterious treasure. Say so yeah, we'll sights here away one, two, three, four, and five. Yeah, that's fine. We'll draw three. Okay, so Focalies for next turn. Uh can he knock us out? I don't think so. So we'll just press done into our opponent's turn. So we got uh four already in the discard pile. We can discard because Focalies discard two. Um, and that gives six, three, oh no, sorry, it's just three, so three, four, five, hmm, it's so Ultra Ball, okay, discards him a choke and a weakness policy, okay, so probably gonna see a Zora come down, so I think it's a Zork, Macargo, uh, Lycanroc deck is what we're seeing here, is what I'm thinking, alright, there's a Tapu Lele, Tapu Lele for Professor Elms, most likely, okay, <clears throat> hmm. Now the only problem is we don't find another Pokemon. We could lose. Maybe we should put down Mo Rotom. Yeah, I probably should put down Mo Rotom, and that way you could attack the Rock Ruff, Josh. Don't know what you were thinking there. All right, so Professor M Lecture gonna find themselves um, three Zoras. Um, yep, Professor M Lecture. Okay. Well, let's see. But we still have Acrobikes. We have Ultra Balls, stuff like that. So there's three Zoras coming down. Okay. Alrighty, so we see three Zoras in the field. One, two, and three. He's got a full bench here. Does he put a fighting energy in the active? Yep. 
Alrighty, corner, so we can't retreat this turn. Alright, so in our turn, we'll get a lily. Okay. Um. So three, four, five. So we can put down, well, I guess shrine doesn't matter. Hmm. How do we deal with this? Because Sophocles discarding one and two, drawing four, we can attach one, electro power, this, have two, and draw four as well. So either way, we're drawing four, right? So I'm Sophocles discarding one and two to draw four. All right, so we got a fan rotom. We got Acrobike. Um, we'll grab a Shrine of Punishment. Put down one of the Shrine of Punishments. And just pass into our opponent's turn. So, three, four, five. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. There is a Zorak GX coming online. Okay. See some trade happening. All right. I'm fine with this. Discard a Kakui drawn two. I mean, if he doesn't have much, then we're still okay here. But we definitely don't have a knockout just yet. So DC to his RTX. There's a Guzma. Gonna knock out our fan Rotom. Alrighty. Um, now we can one shot this Zork, hypothetically speaking. So it goes down to five. Okay. We'll sit at the Rotom. Only person we're gonna loosen up. Alright. So take some damage for Shrine. Get a Shrine of Punishment. Uh-oh, this is not good. So a double Electro Power. One and two. We'll Lily for three. Um, And that's going to be game. Yep, yep. Okay. Should have put down the Mo Rotom. Should have put down the Mo Rotom. All right, all right. Game number two. Game number two. We kind of missed it there. Uh, if we would have hit Ultra Ball, four or fives. I don't think we still would have had it. Huh. All right. We're trying to see if we can make this work. Like, we know it's expanded. We got, we got, you know, Bursty Balloons, those auto-discard. We got Compressor. Those get discarded. But we're trying to make this work in standard. All right. So, we'll try again. We'll try again, guys. We definitely should put in the Mill Rotom. Uh, that would have bought us another turn and might have had a chance, right? All right. So, here we go. Let's try it again. Let's see how this game goes. So, heads. We lost the coin flip. Okay. And that's fine. I mean, it's not because we definitely... Uh, well, that game, we didn't get down nine at all. Alright, so... I think with this game, we start with, like... Like, with Mo Rotom or something, right? And we put down Frost and put down the, the Lightning guy. Okay. But... We can just Sightseer, weigh the Mysterious Treasure, and then hopefully a totally top deck... So we're down one and two. We'll have more guys to attack with this game. Definitely not going to make the same misplay as last turn. We're going to keep the Sophocles really good if we talk about an adventure bag or something like that. There is a Ultra Necrozma GX and an Orn Guru. All right, so Psychic Energy Active. Uh, Donnelly's Necrozma GX. Net, Nest Ball for a uh, NK. Okay. Choice Span the Active. Lily for seven. Nope. Instruct for one. All right. Maybe they have a bad hand here. Probably not. Oh, there's Lily. All right. So Lily for six. All right. Mysterious treasure for another NK. All right. So they're already doing good. They're doing everything they want this turn. Get a double NK. Uh, yep. <coughs> NK coming down. Pass onto our turn. All right. So we get an Ultra Ball. All right. So we will. We could Sophocles. But I don't say Sophocles for next turn. Um, well, Sightseer away Mysterious Treasure, drawn two. Well, Adventure Bag. Um, Double Choice Helmet. Well, Ultra Ball away two Choice Helmet. Maybe I should have a Ring of Rune here. Uh, to grab a Rotom. Okay, grab a Rotom. Uh, put down a Rotom. And right now, we'll just pass Trap on a So we got two in there. Uh, next, we'll have a third one. Okay. Um, the good thing about his, he already benched two GX, so we found a shrine. A shrine will start kicking in. There's a 
beast energy deactivated, which means he can... Uh, he doesn't one-shot us just yet. No, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, he definitely does. Never mind. Just kidding. He's doing 120. Duh, Josh. Just kidding. Uh, so we send a frost right up here. I think we send the frost right up just to, like, take a hit. So Tate and Liza are going to shuffle get five new cards. He's taking a knockout no matter what this turn. He needs to find his Malamar, so what he's looking for. I'm hoping that we top deck another, um... Another tool card, we just like, so Fock lays away two, two tool cards, drawn four. So, send up the Frost Rotom, okay. On our turn. It's not a card I really want to top deck, but we need to keep the Electro Power. So, I'm going to discard these two, drawn four. Whoa. <laughs> All right, we'll venture bag. Uh, a Hustle and Hustle. All right. Press done. If we top deck Sightseer, we're looking good because we can discard one, two, three, and four. Four, five, six, seven. We'll have to discard uh, the choice summon as well to take a knockout. Well, not even knockout, just do 120. Hmm. All right, so there is a Psychic Recharge Malamar coming down. So there's a Cynthia. So no Goose this turn. He's not knocking on the Rotom. He needs a Psychic Energy this turn. Did he find one? Uh, he could attack with this guy as well. He could just start using Dark Flash to start knocking us out. So it'll be interesting to see what he does. If he does find a Psychic Energy. All right, so Psychic Energy there. Oh, great. Uh, we might just... No, he's got Free Retreat now because of the, moon, the Altar of the Moon. Uh-oh. Hmm. All right, so we need to top deck a Sightseer for sure. 130. Goes down to four. We'll send up a Rotom. All right, we have plenty of stuff in our hand. What we top deck? I should attach a tool last turn. I don't know why I'm not doing that. Uh, press done. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, uh, hold on, can't count. Too many golden cards. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Goose up the road on the bench. Take a knockout. Means our. Okay, this is going great. This is going great, guys. This is going. This is about as terrible as it can go. This is a great Rogue Tuesday. All right. Well, we got Guzma. It doesn't matter. He can just treat. All right. All right. All right. Let's try this again. I don't. We didn't really make a misplay of the game. Maybe our deck is just bad. I don't know. I had a good idea, and maybe it's just not working. Some Rogue Tuesdays are just fails, and I thought, huh. okay. Let's try it again. Let's try one more time. Hmm. Maybe you could put like. My car going here, then you get smooth over. Um, jeez, I don't know, man. It's just not going good. It's just not going good right now. Hmm. I thought we found the older, the ultimate counter deck, but it's looking like there's a reason why this deck's an expanded. All right, maybe list. I thought our list was like pretty okay, but I guess it's not. Okay, so we'll start. This guy's got free retreat. <clears throat> Put down frost. Put down frost, okay. We have no tool cards in our hand. If we top deck an adventure bag, then we're looking okay. So ditto, okay. I don't care about that card. Because if we top deck adventure bag, what we can do is grab like two random tool cards and just like Sophocles them away and then Ultra Ball some way maybe and then save the Sightseer for next turn to drop to five cards or something. Uh, so another Zora deck. Great. All right. Two Zora. Three Zora. Ultra Ball. Okay. So you're playing all these decks and this is not what I want to play against. I want to play against these stall decks that we're supposed to beat because stall decks aren't really going to hurt us. All right. There's a Routes. How do we handle a Gardevoir deck? I don't know. All right. Hmm. So, let's Sophocles discard the Choice Summon Guzma. Save the Sights here. All right. We'll grab Adventure Bag. 
to grab two two cards, which is double double hull spell is probably just probably the best thing to grab with the ultra ball, right? Um, so we'll ultra ball away one and two for Rotom. Okay, we'll put down Rotom, Acrobike. Yeah, we need this card. Okay, so we need a rescue stretcher as well. Um, we have three in the discard pile. <clears throat> Do we just choice tell them the active? And then we take some. Nah, I think we just hold the hand right now. Um, because I don't know what he's going to attack with. And if we choice on the Rotom, it's just pretty useless. <clears throat> so there's a Lola Ninetales GX, alright? He's going to find a Rare Candy, most likely, and an Ultra Ball to get the Guardian line. Maybe Tyron Balls, get Zark. He's got uh, a ton of options. So double. He's usually going to go, okay, double Tyron Ball, whatever. He's already got Rare Candy in hand, obviously. So we're going to see Tyron Ball action. Hopefully he flips Quad Tails here. The likelihood of this happen is 0%. Okay, whoa. Alright, take two. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> Alright, well, he can Ultra Ball this two way, grab a Lele. Oh, well, great. He can Cynthia. <laughs> it's like small victory, just kidding. Just gonna do some stuff instead. We won a game with our Rotom deck. We won a game with the Rotom deck. <laughs> Look at that. One win streak. We won a game. Man, that was actually like a pretty like look at decent game for us. Yeah, I wanna go first. Alright, let's try it again. See, this is a good hand, because you can sock the least away these two. Hopefully draw some more tool cards, maybe adventure bag, you draw sights here. See, this is what I want to see. Double fan road him start as well. Look at there, but looking good from the start. Alright, we will Sophocles away one and two. Adventure bag away one and two. Ultra ball away one and two. Grabbing a Rotom. Okay. Put down Rotom. Acrobike. Again, the same thing happened. <laughs> All right. Uh, it's first done. How many's in there? Two, three, four. All right, you got four. Five more left to go, guys. Can we do it? Probably not. But at least we have Sophocles to discard Guzman Choice Span. Draw another four cards. Okay. I don't think he's gonna be knocking us out for a little while. So we have a good minute. Brooklyn Hill. Uh, can at least grab us a Frost Rotom, uh, just to thin our deck down, which is fine. Okay. What is the weak to? A lightning. Boom, boom! All right. What if we knock him out next turn? That'd be exciting, right? Uh, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna need some great draws to knock him out next turn. Yeah, maybe this deck needs to stay in Expanded. Uh, with Battle Compressor, Juniper, and stuff like that. I don't know. Maybe. So Ultra Ball, okay. Water and Cynthia, okay. I like it. I like it. Because you need nine. Nine is so hard to reach. Guess is why it's a really hard deck to pilot, right? Mm. I just hate that back to back games. We like try to go for the Acrobike play and hit Rotom <clears throat> Electro Pile or whatever. So Aqua Patch to the Whooper. To the Mudkip, interesting. Okay. Same thing we knew he had a six. What does this guy do? 120 to bench. Okay. There's a Pokenav. Look at top three. Maybe we'll a Pokemon energy find in there into your hand. Put the other cards back in any order. All right. So he's going to reach the top of the two. And. <coughs> does he have an Ultra Ball or something? Discard that water energy. Get into the Aqua Patch. He's definitely putting the pressure on us right now for sure. Definitely seeing some pressure happening. <clears throat> All right, so Jet Geyser, who are we sending up here? Rotom? No, what just send up there? Oh, we get to choose. Who cares? That's fine. Got free. Oh, okay. Never mind. Just kidding. Another Aqua Patch. Great. Okay, pass on our turn. 
<coughs> well, we will use this. <coughs> <coughs> Grabbing a frost item. Sophocles, away a choice band of Guzma. Um, I'm gonna treat to the frost rotom and just pass. Okay. So two, three, four, five, six. I need three more. <clears throat> now the problem with his deck is there's a lot of stuff. Alright, there's a Vulpix. Okay. Does he find the Quagsire? Rare candy into Marsh Stomp. Which is weak to grass, okay. Um, maybe Mo Rotom can help us out there. I think we Sophocles next turn, no matter what. Okay, there's a Tapu Fini. 170, so we can knock that out with a Rotom eventually. That's good. <clears throat> there's a Quagsire, okay. So he's most likely going to take a knockdown on a Frost Rotom this turn, which is fine. Uh, Frost Rotom is really not that useful. The good thing about this, I want to did bench a Tapu Fini for some reason, so I'm okay with that. Alright, discard him some stuff. If we can knock out this Volcanion Prism Star next turn, I'll be really happy. So 120 to bench, okay? Because he'll need, like, <coughs> a, <coughs> sorry, um, an Aqua Patch or something else. So let's see. There's a shrine, so we'll play our Brookle again. So we have nothing in there. Alright, we'll put down Shrine of Punishment. <clears throat> well, Sophocles. Away oh, an escape board and a Sophocles. Draw 40 cards. Hmm. Alright, two, three, four, five, six. Six cards. Great. Um, I'll put down the fan rotom. Um, press done. Yeah, shrine kicks off. Okay. Well, I was feeling so confident. Now I'm not feeling so confident anymore. Hmm. All right. So at least this guy, even one we can take down two. Okay. So that's good. Guzma up. The Electro Boy. There he is. Sends up this. Move the energy active. And uh, start doing some stuff. Good. Great. Didn't want to attack anyway this turn. Okay. Power draw. Alright. This is bad. This is real bad. Real bad. We don't play any stretchers. Okay. So, well, I don't know what's happened there. Hydro Pump for Knockout. That's all I know. Okay. Goes down to four. We'll send a friend Rotom. The ticks will start happening. All right. On our turn. Hustle Belt. Okay. Um. Um. Okay, so let's Sightseer. Man, I kind of just want to discard everything. I'm just going to triple Electro Power and just say, you know what? I don't need these cards, really. We'll just triple Electro Power here for no. Okay, yep. Yeah. And we'll, we'll do one, two, three. Keep it one, Guzma. <clears throat> so how many is that? Two, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's number nine. Look at there. Look at there. All right, so grab this guy. Yeah. We'll knock out his Marsh Stomp, all right. Wait, can I attack this turn? Yeah, I can. All right, Retreat. Plasma Slice for Knockout. All right, goes down to five price cards. There's a Rotom, okay. But that will be our last Rotom. That is what I'm worried about. But if we can knock out this this guy and he doesn't have re retaliation, we should looking good, right? All right. He's played two Aqua Patches so far. Stretcher back the, the line. Okay. <clears throat> How many choice bands are we down? Two. All right. So we have two left. 
Hmm. We can eventually knock out this guy. Which is good. Okay. Energy there. <sighs> what does this guy do again? Okay. There's a Ninetales GX coming out. Okay. <laughs> Great. Another card that I didn't want to see, but we're going to see it today. Okay. Um, because this guy's not weak to anything. Um, comes back to us 130. We can knock it out. Okay. But then how do we deal with this thing? I don't know. So he grabbed a... <clears throat> an Ultra Ball and an Aqua Patch. Okay. Discards a Water and Tate and Liza. See what he gets with this card. There's another Mudkip. Good. This card I didn't want to see again. Aqua Patch to the Mudkip. Lele Wonder Tag. Alright, so he's got a bunch of <clears throat> Pokemon that are going to be taking Shrine damage, which is really good for us. Um, we just gotta hope he doesn't find any more Brooklets, right? So, Cynthia for New Hand. Okay. Dang it! <laughs> okay. Sauna Blast for the knockout. Alright. These guys have 30 HP left. Adventure Bag? Huh. Um, okay, we'll put down the Rotom. Yeah, I think we have to knock out the active while we can. Hustle about one of these guys. A lily for four. Okay. Acrobike. To grab the Mo Rotom. That nice guy's gonna be doing 60. It can knock out this thing this turn. But then this guy might knock us out the following turn. Um, okay. So I'm gonna retreat into this. Plasma Slice for the knockout. Alright. Go down to four price cards. We gotta hope he doesn't have a rare candy Marsh Stomp turn. Um, I guess he could Hydro Shot us. Which is one thing I'm kind of scared of as well. Here comes Quagsire. He might have a Guzma play or something. There was the Rare Candy. Okay. Rare Candy Swampert. Great. So he's going to attack with the Quagsire, it looks like. Now that would be uh, a terrible idea. A terrible idea if he goes with this play. Because we got Morotum in our hand. All right. There's a Mudkip. And he's down all of his Aqua Patches. So if he moves the energy up to the active and goes for that play, he's going to be in trouble. And that looks like what he's doing here because he needs three energy attack with the Swampert. Well, he needs three energy attack with this guy too. So I don't know what he's really doing here. So Tate Eliza. Okay. Oh, he can move his mini. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Duh, Josh. He can just move it up to there. Okay. He goes out of two. Pal pad. Okay. All right, so let's see here. This guy does 120. This will do 80, okay. This goes down to two. We sit at the fan rotom. All right. So I think at this point, <clears throat> we can like spinning fan which does 80, and the next turn, Motorotom takes a knockout, and then he can only attach one every turn, um, and then we might have enough resources to win the game, right? Maybe, probably not. Uh, okay. Because we're all down on Rotoms, there's no stretch in our deck, because we're bad at making decks, so a spinning fan right now. All right. Next turn, Motorotom can take a knockout. Um, after that, I don't know what we do from here. Not gonna lie to you. He's down two candy already. He's got, and like I said, he, he has, he only attached one energy every turn now. Okay, one energy to Coaxire. Power draw. 
And then we got Guzma. So we can knock out this guy. Uh, no, not really, unfortunately. <sighs> so we're going to take a knockout here. We put down Bow Road and take a knockout. There's a Switch Raft. Great. Well, we still knock it out. Okay, that's good. All right, wash out. One and two. Okay. And then we knock out his Quaxar Morotum. This guy can't knock us out. Then we Guzma for knockout. All right. So it goes down to one prize card. <sighs> it's going to be tough, but we might be able to pull this out. Put this here. Retreat to this. This guy does 120. Uh, we'll Ultra Ball. We'll just discard stuff we don't need. Like we don't need these two. We'll grab another Mo Road. Oh, we'll actually grab the Heat Rotom. Heat Rotom might be a little better. Um, okay. And we'll special Mo for 120. All right. Now he can't move energies anymore. We have one Guzma hand, which could bring up this guy next turn. If he puts another energy on this guy. What I'm scared of is Super Boost, but even then, I don't think he has enough. Uh, okay. Oh, we should have held the Ultra Ball. Uh, okay, there's another whooper coming down, okay. If he puts an energy here, then Heat Blast can take a knockout. But then we're in range of water knocking us out. Alright, energy recycler, five back of the deck. Alright, okay, okay, okay. Let's see what he's got. So water to the active. We're gonna see a Tapu Storm GX. No. What's he doing? Oh, he's discarding an energy, drawing three cards. Okay. Hmm. So, Ultra Ball? Yeah, definitely should have kept the Ultra Ball. But we have two of these in the deck? Okay. <sighs> There's that coming down. Okay. Um, I think no matter what, we knock out the Swampert. If we can. Right? That's the question here. So, what? Uh, Acrobike? Woo! All right. Grab that. Put this down. Guzma up this thing to send in this. We will Mysterious Treasure away the electro i'm just seeing what's left in my deck do we have a guzma in here so there's a guzma none in here i don't even know how many is left in the deck uh to be honest and we'll special mode for knockout go down to two do we have a guzma left i don't even know um we play three. Oh, there's three in there okay but he doesn't have i don't know i don't know i don't know oh he probably has this unfortunately hmm what does he do here, I wonder? Uh, do we have any more skateboards? We have one skateboard, okay. Here comes Tapu Lele. He only needs one energy retreat, but he's most likely for, okay, so there's Quagsire, but um, he got, oh my goodness, he's got both. Okay, great. All the hard work for nothing. <laughs> okay. Six, seven, and nine, 10. Must not knock out either, okay. So he broke the hill for nothing. Oh, uh, we don't have a Guzman left, but we do have an escape board. Does he have a Guzman left? How many Guzmans has he played? Oh, you know, just one Guzma. I right, discard, draw three. He attached per turn. If we had Guzma with top deck and we top deck shrine, we would have game because we have the heat. Plus choice, plus the, yeah, we have this, this, shrine, which would knock out this. Did he find a water G attachment for turn? If he didn't, I'd be so excited. Because if he doesn't find a water G, we win, like, 100%. Because he can't attack us. Well, we don't win automatically, but we're in a really good shot of winning. Oh, there's water G active. Move the energy up to the active. You hit us for 40.
Okay. So we put a skateboard here. Okay. Put down heat rotom. I guess it doesn't matter. I think we put down this. Eight, nineteen, eleven. Put choice. Mm. We could retreat, but these all get knocked out. So we got to put down the heat. Retreat to the heat. Choice spin it. Uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, so we have to go for a heat blast here and see what he does. Okay, ultra opponent's turn. He can retreat one energy. He can retreat one energy, but he, then he can't attack us again. Okay. Unless he's got Guzma. He's got Guzma, he's got game. It just, like, doesn't matter. But he's only about one Guzma, so I'd be really weirded out if he doesn't have a game right now. Uh, because he can just draw three. Yeah, there's the Guzma. Guzma attach. Ah, oh, we we're so close. All right, so I think what we need to add to this deck is actually, you know, Stretcher would be really good. Uh, besides that, I don't know. Maybe the deck's just not that good as I thought in my head. No, oh, my goodness. All right, let's let's think about this. Let's think about this. Let's go to here. <clears throat> let's go to open a deck manager. Let's see here. What cards could we cut? Like, maybe we need a ring root. Lily, I can't see how many you are right now. Um, maybe we have too many tools. Um, you could maybe cut down, like, maybe in the hustle belts. You could cut down maybe mystery treasure. I don't know. The cards we really need is, like, two stretcher. Two stretcher would be really, really nice in this deck. And then you can get back your electric rotoms, right? Uh, both games that we played this deck, we, like, discard our rotoms early while I have an Electro Power in the hand, maybe we should have just discarded the Electro Power because we had the Rotom to hit for weakness on the Volcanians. Maybe, I don't know, it's a rough start for Rotom, but it's a little idea I have. Maybe somebody out there can get it working, maybe start practicing that league. Like I said, the main thing of this deck was to take care of those mill decks. I think you can easily beat the mill decks with this deck. Uh, once you got the nine tool cards in this Corpel, you're constantly just doing a significant amount of damage to them over and over again, and they really can't do anything about it. So if you're scared about the mill decks, this is the way to go. Uh, maybe it, need, it definitely needs some tinkering, but it's a rough, rough draw with this Rotom deck. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great Tuesday. We'll see you tomorrow for Wednesday. And uh, hit the subscribe button. Alrighty, bye.